Hi Cancer, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of October 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Cancer. And because it is general, it means that it's not going to be everybody's situation. And it also means that the roles can be reversed even if you are cross-watching. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. All right, Cancer, let's see what is going on with you in a love connection for the first couple weeks of October 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I'm also doing this a little bit differently this time. I will be focusing more on you and a little bit less on the other person so feel free to cross watch for someone in particular if you would like or like I said you can get a personal reading all right cancer let's see what is going on here we have the magician crossed by the three of pentacles all right so this is the situation um, somebody is trying to manifest something I feel like this is you possibly wanting to make something work, wanting to bring about some kind of a result. But I feel like the challenge really is um, possibly the other person cooperating with you. Like it's, it's either hard for you to work with the other person because of how the situation is or the other person is not able to cooperate with you. Let's see the recent past. We have the Three of Swords. Okay, so this is a situation where there's been a lot of pain, especially recently. There may have been a heartbreak. There may have been some kind of a separation. Um, <clears throat> but whatever the case, it created a lot of pain for you. In your consciousness, we have the Queen of Swords, subconscious, the Four of Wands. In your current energy, the Chariot, the other person, oh, the Page of Swords, okay. Coming up, we have the Seven of Wands, and the message for you is the Page of Pentacles. Okay, <clears throat> so Cancer, you, I feel like you're actually kind of being a little bit tough in, in the good way. Like, you're, you're seeing the situation clearly. Um, you might even be trying to just set your boundaries I'm seeing this actually, yeah, in at least two places here. And I feel like you are continuing to build and grow your your boundaries. And I feel like this is actually like a recent realization that you've had where you just feel like, all right, you know, I need to look out for myself. I need to put myself first. I need to find that inner respect and actually like demand that. And I do see you continuing on in that way. Deep down, however, like you do have this sense of wanting union with this person still. And you may or may not be aware of it because it is in your subconscious, but that is okay because I do see you um, pretty much moving forward in a way that is good for you. Um, especially with this chariot, you, uh, like I said, I feel like this is all kind of new, like this new path that you're taking or this new attitude that you are having towards the situation, but you are moving, you are moving pretty quickly in this direction of having your boundaries set and not allowing, um, someone else to affect you in whatever way they affected you in the past. Now, the other person here, they're showing up as this page of swords, so... I'm getting this person either wants to communicate, and if they don't communicate, if you're not in communication, this person is very, very curious um, about what you are up to, what it is that you are doing. I'm, I'm even getting a sense of, like, even confusion with this page of swords. Like, they're trying to figure, figure you out, or trying to figure out the situation, or what it is that might be happening now. Um, with the page of pentacles being the message for you, we'll see more when we clarify. Um, but I feel like, yeah, you know, you're being asked to just research your, your own potentials and your own possibilities. You're learning, you're, you're learning and you are on the right path. So let's clarify. Let's see that magician with the three of pentacles. And we have Temperance, the Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords showing up again. And I'm so sorry, it's out of the camera's view. Let me just move them over a little bit. Okay, there we go. 
So that's a little better. So here's here's the Queen of Swords. All right, showing up again. Um, you've you've been very patient um, throughout this. I feel like you've been waiting for this person to somehow um, collaborate with you or cooperate or you know trying to find some kind of a consensus. Maybe for some of you, this has to do with work, like working together. Whatever it is, though, you you were patient. You were waiting for this, and then. It didn't come through, right? Five of Pentacles. You felt some kind of a rejection here. And it's because of that rejection that pretty much threw you in this Queen of Swords energy, right? Because that rejection with the Five of Pentacles, it created that pain. Now, I'm not, I'm not so sure that this person actually wanted to reject you or if that's really what this is but that's how it was presented like at the end of the day it was like all right you know you're not you're not participating in this you're not cooperating so in a sense it is rejection because they weren't giving you um you know the the time and effort the dedication the attention that you deserve so let's see this three of swords for the recent past Ooh, the Death card and the Hierophant. Okay, so let me just call out a couple of the signs that I'm seeing here. Um, first and foremost, we do have your sign. I didn't even mention that, Cancer, okay? Which, this is why I'm saying, like, you're really standing in your power, okay, in the beginning of, or the first half of October here. And I feel like it's going to continue on, all right? Because if you're you're taking this path as this chariot, this Queen of Swords, like, you're, you're staying on this path. Like, this is, I feel like this is the beginning for you. Um, so we do have Cancer. We do have... Um, I do get a sense for Aries, um, also Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Taurus. Okay, so you might be dealing with one of these signs. It doesn't have to be, though. Um, definitely let me know, though, if you are. So, yeah, there was definitely an ending here. Okay, it's very clear with the Death card and the Hierophant, there was an ending um, to a particular situation i don't know if it was the relationship the commitment or an aspect of it like like i said i feel like for a small group of you it's that you were working together so maybe there was an ending in terms of working together and so you're not like um you know teaming up anymore and this person is showing up as rejecting you at least on the surface in some way so this created a lot of pain and i feel like that's also because you know with this higher thing here this was something that felt deeper, it felt more meaningful. Yeah. Let's see, Queen of Swords for your consciousness here. The Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Wow. Yeah, you're you're really just I feel like you're detaching. You are detaching. There's still that part of you that would want this connection, but for the most part, you're putting that to the side. It's like even if you know that this is what you would want, you're like it doesn't matter. I have to put myself first and my integrity comes first. And I feel like you know through this there's something that may have happened that has also given you some kind of a realization that has boosted your sense of self-worth, your self-esteem and just this realization that you can be independent, that you don't need this situation in your life right now. And you're, again, this is new. I feel like this is a new realization for you. And if you haven't felt it yet, I feel like it's it's coming up in the first couple weeks of October, approximately, right? Because time is fluid. All right, let's see. Four of Wands for your subconscious. The Three of Swords and the Tower. <laughs> oh gosh, okay, it's like you want this connection, but you don't want to want it. Because um, that pain, it, it's still there. It's it's still there. The pain has not, has not healed yet. But it's like you're feeling that this is just done. Like, I feel like you've reached some kind of a threshold where to you it feels like it's almost like a point of no return, almost, maybe, maybe not quite, but something along those lines. Just feeling like, you know, this connection has now been damaged because of this rejection that I have felt, like, how do you mend that? Right? Like, it's like you're feeling like even if this person comes back, like, they're going to have to work really hard to 
put those pieces back together. Okay, so let's let's see the chariot for your current energy. The Ten of Pentacles and the Magician. You want to manifest um, happiness in, you just want things to be solid, you want things to be practical, you want things to be logical, you just want things to make sense and just have this happily ever after. And that's what you're moving towards. All right, with that chariot, you are empowering yourself here. Whatever it is that you're doing, Cancer, keep doing it because you are empowering yourself and you are actually manifesting in this way this Ten of Pentacles, right? A commitment, that hierophant that you wanted, that strong, deep, um, stable, long-term connection. This can even be marriage. Um, it can even include children. I mean, whatever. It's long-term. That is the point. It's long-term and it's happy. And that is what you are manifesting here. And I feel like you're doing it quickly, but you're doing it because you are detaching, because you're in this Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles energy, because you're like this chariot, like I'm going to move forward, even if it feels like I don't want to, I know what's good for me. So you're following what you know is good for you. Keep doing that. All right, let's see this Page of Swords for the other person here. The Two of Wands and the Two of Cups. <laughs> yeah, this person is very, still very into um, what you are doing, what you are up to. The Two of Cups, this is somebody who does want this connection with you, um, but there is stalling, there is this delaying. And again, I'm getting almost like this sense of, I wanna say like bewilderment, um, because they can pick up on your energy. And I feel like this, I mean, I get this a lot, right, in my readings. They can pick up on your energy. It works energetically. And I mean, you can see, you can notice these things even with other situations in your life. Um, like, you know, let's say you are just hoping for, for a response from like a job interview and you keep wanting it and wanting it and wanting it and then you, you don't get the call. And then as soon as you're like, ah, eh, whatever. And you just move on and you forget about it, that's when you get the call. Um, with positive news about it, right? It's kind of like that, like it works energetically. Like as you're moving away from this person, this person can feel that even if you are, um, if you are not in contact, it doesn't matter. There is though still this stalling, but there's a lot of thinking about what this person could say to you. They're thinking about, you know, if they could text you or, or talk to you, what they would say. There is stalling though. There is, there is stalling, I can't. I can't tell you something else because that's what I see, but um, Two of Cups, they want this. They still want you. Let's see the Seven of Wands because <laughs> coming up because I see you still um, sticking by your boundaries, like not really um, budging with this person. So let's see, Seven of Wands. the chariot again yeah you're still moving away from this you're still taking action you're like nope i'm still on on another road now just taking a different road um eight of cups yeah it can't be more clear you're still detaching even coming up like i said like this person's gonna have to work hard um to gain your trust back or to make you feel like okay you know i can we can mend this three of swords this pain the damage that has been caused so i don't see you giving in easily cancer so good for you because i don't know what what exactly happened but i do get that you know you were left feeling abandoned you were left feeling um, if it's not rejected exactly, it's like you, it's at least neglected. Let's see the page of pentacles for the message for you. And oops, we have the devil and we have the seven of wands again. Yeah, this is what you're learning. So clear. So, so clear. 
you are learning how to see that seven of wands again right it, the, when i was talking about you standing your ground setting those boundaries you're blocking out anything that is toxic anything that is not healthy for you this is also capricorn energy okay so maybe you might be dealing with the capricorn for some of you but point is you are blocking that out and you are standing very very strong in your boundaries against anything that is toxic or unhealthy all right even you're even not allowing yourself to repeat old patterns all right so this is the message for you so take this also as the guidance all right oh cancer good job all right, so if this reading resonated, let's get the final message for you. And please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It just helps me to tap more into your energy. All right, I tap into the energy of the people who are subscribed mostly. All right, so Cancer, final message. We have poised. This is exactly it. You are poised. You are standing your ground. You know exactly what you are worth. You know exactly what you deserve. And you're just not budging. You're not dropping that. So yeah, <laughs> keep going, Cancer. All right, thank you so much for watching and much love.